We don't have Waffle Houses in San Antonio, so you bet your sweet tits I'm eating here a second day in a row. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Dude, you just can't beat Waffle House. I mean, well, some cheap diners can, but Waffle House has had such a distinct taste. I don't know if I can... You know what, Georgia, you can't use your cell phone when you're, when you're driving? I wonder if I can use my camera. There's two cops sitting here. Let's just put the camera down real quick. Hello, hello officers. I'm not vlogging while driving. Don't, wor don't worry, don't worry about me. Carry on. Oh yeah, Rick Astley's in my head because I'm freaking trying to listen to the SCP podcast and Mr. Ball and listen to my stories while I'm eating my Waffle House. John has access to my Spotify account and he starts playing Never Gonna Let You Down. And every time I hit play to like listen to more Mr. Ballin, he keeps freaking playing Rick Astley. So guess what? When he gets home, his computer's not gonna be there. He's never gonna have a computer again. <laughs> now, if you just can't beat the old uh, the old Waffle House, man, ten dollars for a two egg breakfast and coffee. It's got such a distinct taste too, man. I, I, I bet it's like the buttery oil that cheap shit whatever they put on everything. Every bucket of it on the on the griddle, and they just like dump it on everything. I want to get a griddle and learn how to do hibachi. What are we doing now? Uh, John doesn't get out of school for another five hours, so I think I'm gonna go up to the Barnes and Noble and write some scripts and drink some coffee. I'll tell you what, driving my sister's Hyundai makes me miss my Hellcat. <laughs> Talking to Heather a little while ago, she's in like negative weather, catching some fish with some tridents and stuff, so that's pretty cool. She'll be back on Friday. I'm going back tomorrow Dude, my flight leaves at 5.47 a.m., so John and I gotta get up at like three. Guess who's coming back to Texas with me for a couple days, Mr. John. He's got a four-day weekend, so I was like, why don't you just come back to Texas with me? Because he misses the aminals. He wants to hang out with the boys. So that's exciting. I'm gonna probably bring him back here on Monday. For now, scripts. You know what I used to do right here at the shopping center? This exact same shopping center. I would get my skateboard and wait for the delivery trucks to drive by and I'd grab on the back of them and ride them all the way down here. I also used to be able to ollie completely over this right here. I had to go really, really fast, but I could do it. That sucks. I was talking to a family member yesterday, not gonna name any names, and they were telling me whoever runs this Barnes & Noble is a super, super uh, gingivitis strict. You know what, gingivitis? Because I went in there yesterday and I was gonna take my nephew to play in the child area and they've taken out the trains, they've taken out the Legos, and then they stacked the benches up against the wall so you can't sit on them. So I know there's a little coffee cafe down the road. I'll go there and see if I can sit and get some work done. I just don't like sitting at home. Better. It's me, Pa. Hey there. Hey, hello. Hello. Dad stopped by to say hey. It's me, it's me, it's Ricky C. <laughs> so, let me show you guys what I'm working on right now. I'm working on this script right now for the main channel where this lady gets drunk and she has one of those motorized pieces of luggage that she drives around on. And so I'm gonna do a video on it and I hit up the company that makes the luggage I'm not gonna say it now because they don't sponsor me. I was like, hey, do you guys want to sponsor this video? And if they say yes, I'm be like, hey, you want to send me a couple of these? Because I really want to ride those to the airport But first I want to modify them with like Craftsman drill batteries where it goes instead of 8 miles an hour 20 miles an hour. I'm hoping they get back to me so I can have a sponsor for this video. I made five and a half scripts for main channel videos. I'm on a freaking roll, man, on a roll. Right now though, I'm going to pick up the boys, Mr. Charlie and Mr. John, grab some snacks after school, probably go get some ice cream. I'm sure they're gonna be hungry too, you know, playing all day, being little psychopaths like they are. Hi, Cody. Hey, what are you doing, boy? Nothing. Halo. Hi. How's your day? Good. Buckle up. Buckle up. Why are your eyes so red? Oh, um, somebody punched me in the face. Oh, Jesus. Are you okay? Yeah. Did you punch him back? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll talk about that later, all right? Okay. Came over to the combat market, the shop that my sister and brother-in-law owns. They're about to move locations from here to over on Broad Street, like the main street here in Rome, Georgia. John, what do you think about that? That's sick. I know, that thing's dope. It's a old Bronco. It looks like they chopped the back off and turned it into a pickup or something. Cause it's got solid on it's solid on the back. That is cool. You ready to fly tomorrow? No. Yeah. Well, Heather, <laughs> 2 a.m. Yeah, it's gonna be early. Heather's ready to fly right now, but uh, she got stuck in somewhere in South Dakota and there's only like one little regional airport with 
a not so eh, airline and so her layover would be like 30 plus hours unless she flies that and if she flies that it's going to be like a 12 hour flight just to get back to san antonio so maybe i'll see heather one day i miss her <laughs> in the meantime pantera bread john and i got a little snack to hold us over until g dad takes us to texas roadhouse across the street oh bad um so this is thai thai they're thai chicken soup i figure i'd give it a try hopefully it doesn't give me diarrhea and then you got food poisoning and then i got food poisoning in rome georgia from Thai food at Panera Bread. Probably not one of my smartest decisions, but Panera Bread usually is pretty clean. Yeah. Smells like curry. Smells like chicken noodle soup just mixed with curry paste. That's not. That's exactly what that is. It's not bad. Not it's bad. chicken noodle soup mixed with curry paste. It's a good snack before Texas Roadhouse. I'm gonna poop myself twice tonight. <laughs> Junk at that bread bowl. Carbs, 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 carbs. I feel like this shopping center is still here. That was a Hooters for like six or seven years. Oh, before Hooters, it was a pet store. And then right here, my aunt owned a TCBY yogurt, but now she sells meth. Dude, I shouldn't have ate curry from Panera. That's a sucky Goodwill trip. There wasn't anything cool in there. We still got 45 minutes to kill. What do we do? Rome has no comic book stores, no vintage video game stores, like no Pokemon or Magic the Gathering stores. They're trying to kill some time, so we're doing frozen yogurt. Dude, white chocolate mousse? This used to be a TCBY that my crackhead aunt owned. I used to get it all the time. Hmm, ice cream before dinner. <laughs> so Charlie didn't get punched in the face. He was just playing a prank on us. I'll let him tell you when he gets here. Yeah, hey, Dad. Hey, man. Hey, Texas Roadhouse Place being Rome, Georgia. Hey, we. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what, what happened today? I lied. You lied? Mm -hmm. What happened to your face then? I bought, um... <laughs> Stamps. You put red stamps all over your face, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You got us good, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like he's beat up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By girl. You just can't lie about stuff like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. New thermal face. We'll start with that and one of these single fan water coolers. So let's get that guy off. All right, even the single fan is too big for this. It's nudging up against one of the, one of the wires, so that's not going to work. Even if I ran the wire a different way, it wouldn't work. So, he needs a bigger case if I'm gonna water cool it. There's a slight amount. I'm just gonna replace the thermal paste now on the old one, blow some of the dust out of it, and put it back on there. It actually didn't crash last night when we were playing Tarkov. So, I'm just gonna put the old fan back in, and we'll see what happens. Well, that does it for today, everybody. John and I gotta get up ass early tomorrow. Actually, I'm not even going to sleep. Um, we gotta leave the house at three to make it to Chattanooga in time. But the cool thing is, John's coming with me and he's gonna be with me till Monday. That's gotta be good times. What is it, today's Wednesday? Today's Wednesday, I'll see you guys tomorrow.